Hey, what up? This is Mr. Trigger coming to you from Skid Row Tattoo in downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to be bringing you on tattoo stories from some of the sickest artists in the game, brought to you from Sanction TV and Maker Studio. Each week, we're going to show you these artists' best ink on celebrity clientele, all the way to homies in the hood. Greetings, everyone. Stally, you watching Sanction TV, 330, BCJ, MMG, as usual. No champagne bottles, but we celebrating. Just a bunch of weed smoke, how we elevating? We been hella patient, but our times come. Played the background, kept it silent. Now bring the drum. I grew up in Maslin, Ohio. It's a small town in Ohio, about 30,000 people. Uh, really enriched in high school sports. High school football is huge there. Uh, we're called the Maslin Tigers. Uh, Cool little history about us is that our high school was actually one of the first professional football teams, so it's, it's pretty crazy. Today I'm getting, um, again, something that represents me, I'm getting a gangster tiger, because like again, masculine tigers, like I was saying, my high school, so, uh, and I'm a gangster, obviously, as you can see, nah, I'm joking, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm getting a tiger, which represents home for me, you know, which represents my, where I come from, my high school and that background. And then the gangster is just, you know, just my rebelliousness and, and my kind of attitude that I have within, you know, music and my day-to-day -day life. So it's going to be a, t um, a tiger with like a button up and a, a hat on. So this should be cool. I met Luke actually through BJ Betts. I came in here to the shop um, to get these tattoos on my left arm. And um, BJ was here and he was tattooing me. And Luke was actually on his day off. He walked in, he started chopping it up with me and uh, BJ as he was doing my work. And we, you know, had a lot in common as far as just music and, you know, how we seen life a little bit. So we connected on that, exchanged information. And then from there on, we kind of kept in touch. So it's been a definitely a, a good relationship, you know, just meeting him and, and, and watching his growth and watching him through like the social networks and just his work that he's done, you know, in the past is, is pretty awesome. My first tattoo was actually a Nas lyric or not even really a lyric, it was something that he said um, at the beginning of his album. Um, it said, he said, blood of a slave, heart of the king. So I have that around my wrist. It, um, on the right wrist it says blood of a slave and then on the left it says heart of a king. I got it when I was like probably 18. I just wanted a tattoo, I didn't know what to get. I always said that little saying, so I was like, let me just get a tattoo. And Nas was also, you know, a big um, inspiration to me growing up, you know what I mean? I, I admired him and his work, so, yeah. I always told myself, like, I, I wanted to get tattoos, I wanted to get sleeves, but I was like, I'm not gonna get them until I can afford to pay for good tattoos, basically by, you know, uh, these guys who I studied, you know, coming up, like the cartoons and the Burt Cracks and people like that, BJ Betts, you know. I guess I've got a half sleeve of like Ohio, like all my inspirations through Ohio. Like I got um, a farm and a city that connects, you know, kind of like the country and the city side of, you know, Ohio, cause you know, through that, like where I'm at is kind of more, um, I guess suburban and then you go up the street, it's Cleveland or it's Akron where it's more of like inner city. And then um, I got a tattoo, a traditional heart tattoo for my mom who's from Ohio obviously. Then I got my area code. Um, I got a steel factory because growing up in Maslin, it's nothing but steel factories, railroad, railroads, real blue collar. So I got, you know, that um, the Ohio flag, um, a seal with hands and an eagle that says Ohio. Um, a race car, because I'm very into, um, you know, cars like old school muscle cars and stuff like that. And um, yeah, then um, I, on my hands, I have, my hands were done by BJ Betts. They say no more. Um, the reason why I got no more is K-N-O-W-M-O-R-E. It's because I'm always in the infinite pursuit of knowledge. You know what I mean? I want to learn and, and know as much as possible. So I got no more on my knuckles. Um, again, BJ Betts did a few of my tattoos over here. I have a um, skeleton cowboy because my father, he was a cowboy. He passed away. So I got that for him. I got a pretzel. 
The pretzel represents like me, my daughter, my mother, my family, really all of us love pretzels, you know, so I just got that. Um, I got a farmhouse, because I love, you know, farmhouses, I love ranches, um, a NWA tattoo. NWA was one of the those inspirations too growing up, you know what I mean? And um, I have a Lamborghini Countach. I got this actually in Paris and the license plate says Paris. And um, I just got that one night, it was like 5 a.m. I went into a tattoo shop and just got a tattoo. <laughs> so the, you know, um, the Lamborghini it, to me, it represents like um, European muscle cars. I'm, I'm, I'm into America cars, but I was like, I'm in Paris, I can't get a Chevy or something, so let me get, you know, what they call a muscle car over here. So I got the Lamborghini. Now bring the drum, let's vibe one. Oh man, Patrick is like, he's me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I always see myself a lot like him, you know, like he's very underrated, you know what I mean? He's an amazing artist um, who is very underrated and he, he does a lot for the culture. Um, his, his art says a lot. You know, um, from there on, I just really fell in love. I, I loved his neon lights, like that work that he did with the broken glass and stuff. He actually did my mixtape, Savage Journey to the American Dream, and he did a, um, a piece like that for me. And um, yeah, like I, like I just loved it, you know what I'm saying? So, like it, just the stuff like he, when he puts like, I don't like to dream about getting paid, or you know, those pieces are, it just spoke to me, just by an image, you know, but it tells a story, and I love that. That's what I love the most about him. You know, you'll see like a 40 ounce with some fruit, you know, and then it just have some words, and you just feel like, it makes so much sense, you know, and, and I really just, just, I'm a big fan of Patrick, for sure. So I put it in the rhymes, been dragged through the dirt, trying to cross sides, been through hell, now let the God shine, an outcast from the far side, who made it multi, from rough beginnings to a smooth ride, roll up the Buddha, now let's get high, for all my niggas locked down, trying to get by, I swear to God, my niggas, this is our time. Remember broke days, bumming black and mouths. Trying to relieve stress that was passed down. Sipping pints of gin, trying to pass out. Chopping grams of raw, trying to cash out. Cause illegal was the only way out. Didn't see another route. We was all in the house, watching boys in the hood.